A beginner's guide to buying a guitar. It's one of the most commonly asked questions, especially by beginners. What type of guitar should I buy? Should I buy a classical guitar, nylon strung? Should I buy an acoustic guitar? Should I buy an electric guitar? If so, what type? Should I buy a semi-acoustic guitar? Because the word semi-acoustic would suggest that it's a two-in-one electric guitar and an acoustic guitar, which it isn't. It is basically an electric guitar, a hollow body electric guitar. It will not do the job of an acoustic guitar. So who do you ask? Well, as we talked about in our video about guitar, uh, guitar amps, there is a lot of snobbery in the guitar world. And if your guitar hasn't been made out of Brazilian walnut, dried for a thousand years in the Amazonian rainforest, carved by blind Buddhist monks on the top of the Himalayas, then it is no good. And I wouldn't use that because it's cheap and nasty. And everything's dependent on who you ask. Just in the same way, if you asked a multi-millionaire, what type of car should I buy? They probably would say a Ferrari. If you asked, you know, a working class man, what type of um, car should you buy? He would give you a completely different answer. So it's dependent on who you are asking of what type of uh, guitar you're going to buy. So if you're talking to somebody who money's no object and they've collected guitars and played for many years, they're going to go high end and give you all the spiel. A few years ago, you know, I wanted to uh, build a, uh, a fish pond in my back garden and really wanted to dig a hole and have three fish for the kids to keep them happy. I went to the aquarium shop uh, where the guy saw fish and asked his advice. Brought out a big folder of uh, photographs of what he had in his back garden, which was a, you know, looked like a... <laughs> A 12 foot by 10 garden hut with a generator in, pumping out fresh water for all these Japanese rare fish that he had. And got upset at the idea that people just want to be, think they can just dig a hole in the back garden and put some fish in. It doesn't work like that. And he would have had me spending thousands of pounds on the generator. And you get the same thing in the guitar world. So where do you start? What are the pitfalls? Don't fall into the pitfall, the pitfall, the pitfall of going into a shop like what we have here in the UK, like Argos, where you get a starter pack for you know everything that you need for eighty pound, uh, which is the guitar stand, the arm, the bag, the whole shebang. Uh, I think one guy, a kid, that his mum says, "Oh, it's a decent guitar. Spend eighty pound on it." And, then on, I think the mate was I'd never heard of, and it was absolute rubbish, unplayable rubbish. So do not fall into that trap. A guitar shop is going to sell a, de uh, a decent guitar, but don't overlook the fact that sometimes buying second hand, or as this now call it pre owned, um, is sometimes the option to go by because you can get what was brand new for half the price. And you're getting exactly the same, the same thing. There are so many brands of guitars now that you could make a video in itself on all the different types of brands. So what brands can you go for? Again, it's a bit of a minefield because uh, you would say if you wanted to buy an electric guitar, buy a Squire Strat. Within the Squire Strat world, there is a whole range of, if you buy a Squire Strat from the 90s, they're really good. Then you can get cheaper ones. Toys R Us were selling uh, Squire Strats for £90. And a one built in the 90s is different or a modern one. Fender Strats, you can get Japanese ones, Mexican ones, USA ones, which are top of the range. You've got um, Epiphone guitars, which are made by Gibson, which are the cheaper version of the Gibson but if you buy a 1960s Epiphone which what John Lennon would use that's a completely different story so you know in the case of my Ibanez guitar here which uh, was quite expensive when I bought it you see ones that look exactly the same for a hundred pound and uh, got Ibanez written on and look exactly the same but believe me they're a completely different guitar and I know when yeah uh, a one of them and this way is where it becomes difficult so 
where to start. What is the bottom line? If you're choosing a guitar, think about who you want to replicate. So if you love Ed Sheeran, that's probably your problem and maybe you'll grow out of it. But if you are an Ed Sheeran, you want to buy an acoustic guitar similar to the one that Ed Sheeran uses. If you like Jimi Hendrix, you're probably going to want to buy a Stratocaster guitar. If you like ACDC, Angus Young, he uses a Gibson SG. You can get an Epiphone SG. Uh, if you like bands like Aerosmith or Slash of Guns N' Roses, you're probably going to want a Les Paul. Again, you can buy the Gibson one or you can buy an Epiphone, cheaper version, which are still good and you want to go down that road. If you like Chuck Berry, then you're probably going to want to buy something like this, like a 335. I don't know. Um, you want to go down that route so think about who you like if you want to be a classical guitarist guess what buy a classical guitar if you want to be a flamenco guitarist buy a flamenco guitar it sounds obvious but a lot of people when they start uh, learning to play the guitar don't really know what they want to play they just know that they want to play the guitar they don't know what type or what route they want to want to go down sometimes like with anything in life, you're paying for the brand name. A bit like with training shoes, people are buying the brand name. And I remember reading an article that I think once you get to about £60 on with uh, training shoes, after £60, anything over that, you are paying for whoever's uh, endorsing it. You're paying for the name. And a lot can be said about that with guitars that a lot of it you are paying for the name um i had a kid who i was teaching bought a fender stratocaster it was one of them oh, a custom shop uh, relic ones he paid three and a half thousand pound for it and when i tried it out i cannot honestly say it was worth it didn't it didn't do anything for me. I would have been disappointed. I've spent three and a half thousand dollars on a guitar. Uh, I've played ones that were a lot cheaper. That were still in the hundreds, about eight hundred pound USA Stratocaster. Felt better to me and just as good. So sometimes you are paying for the name. On saying that, if you buy a, a Gibson or a Fender Stratocaster, they are going to keep the price, and if anything. The, the price will go up as it gets older. If you think if you have a 19, I think it's a, if you've got a 1958 um, Les Paul, uh, it, it's probably going to be worth quarter of a million. It was no way it was worth that back then. Um, so they do go up in price. A quarter, you know, would you pay a quarter of a million pound for a guitar? Probably not, unless you're extremely rich and you were a collector. But it shows you how um, ridiculous the prices can go. And it isn't going to be that it's that good of a guitar. You're paying for something else. You're paying for history. So if you're a beginner, if you're going to be paying, the bottom line is anything over £300 is going to be good. Um, then it goes into taste. Um, and then when you really get into playing the guitar and you start developing a taste for what you like and what you want, then you can go down the route of, well, I don't like them pickups, I like these pickups. And that's sometimes when you talk to uh, somebody who really knows the stuff, they can get intricate and finicky about what they do when they don't like. That's why you get people with the BMG guitars. I was reading an article that somebody was complaining that the, it's not exactly the same as where Brian May's got it. Obviously, the trend different but also the way that the pickups are set into the body that they're a different if you're a beginner you're not interested in that kind of thing and arguing about what type of screws i used but you do get that in the guitar world so bottom line after all of this talking is decide who you want to replicate and what type of guitar they use set yourself a budget Buy a decent brand. There are so many brands. I'm not going to recommend brands, but there's certain well-known brands like the likes of Fender, uh, Gibson, uh, Epiphone. Fender I use Squire uh, is the cheaper cheaper option. You kind of can't go wrong with them brands, but the all Ibanez are a really good brand. But within that, like anything, um, there's the cheap 
and then there's the expensive. Uh, look for second hand. Look at the price. Look online at the brand at the the, the new price of what a guitar is, and then look on uh, places like Facebook Marketplace and eBay, and you'll probably get it cheaper. People tend to look after the guitars. Like if I was to sell one of my guitars, you would know that you were buying a guitar that had been set up, it had been kept clean, it had been used, worked in, and you would be getting a good guitar. It isn't necessary. As soon as you buy that guitar, uh, unless it's a you know um, a really really expensive guitar, as soon as you walk out of the shop, it's lost. You know, you can, if you buy a three hundred pound guitar, as soon as you've walked out of the shop, it's lost a hundred pound in its value. So think about second hand. It's not always um, you know, sometimes you get bargains. I mean, um, Mason uh, semi acoustic guitar, yeah, twenty pound. Look up the bliss price, and it was over worth over six hundred. So you can get a bargain. It's not um, a far stretch. So look for them kind of brands. Do your research before you buy anything. But think about the most important thing is who do you want to replicate? It's no good um, want to be a classical guitarist and buying a steel strong acoustic guitar because you're not going to be able to do uh, what you want. It's amazing the amount of people that actually do that. I'm teaching a guy at the minute, a kid who wants to, to play like all this like Latin type uh, flamenco stuff and he's got a steel strong, uh, a steel strong acoustic guitar. And he's kind of struggling to play what he wants and he knows he's going to have to then buy another guitar to suit what he, what he wants because he didn't make that decision in the very beginning. So I hope that kind of helps uh, because like I say, there is no definitive answer to what type of guitar you should buy. If you've got any advice or anything I've missed out, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Maybe there's something that you've... Um, Bought that you think is the best thing since sliced bread. I know with me, I've played uh, Gibson Les Pauls. I bought a Michael Kelly uh, Les Paul for £300. It had AMG active pickups in it, and it was the best Les Paul that I'd ever picked up and played. And uh, I had to sell it because I had a bill came in, and it's the biggest regret I've ever had getting rid of that guitar. It was beautiful, uh, maple top, abalone. Uh, inlay and everything on the neck was beautiful guitar and yet it only cost me £300 on eBay as opposed to looking at £2,000 uh, Gibson Les Pauls. On saying that, the Gibson Les Paul would have held its price and probably would increase in value as time goes on. So again, thank you for watching and let me know your thoughts in the comments.